Good evening, everyone. Happy World Cup kickoff day. We are doing our second break of 2018 Panini Prism World Cup. Six box, half case, pick your team, pick your country break. Number two from jazbeeshobbyland.com. There's also, there's also a, this is for me not to forget to give you, we'll give one of you $75 a break credit. If you bought at least three teams, right here, if you bought at least three teams, You'll get one entry and get randomized to try to win $75 of break credit. All right. Good luck, everyone. World Cup has kicked off. I'll put this right here. All right, TJ. Remind me again. I'm sure I'm, I know I'm going to forget. But remind me again after the break is done. So we were before we started the break, we were talking about how how uh, Robbie Williams from Take That was doing the song for the opening ceremony for the World Cup, and then flipped off the camera afterwards. Did he get in trouble for that, Eric Jennings? That's quite a move for Robbie Williams because he could get. You can get thrown in a Russian jail and disappear forever. Then we know for sure take that reunions would never happen. That was very surreal. Robbie Williams used to live in uh used to live in LA too. The other odd thing, a uh, a Russian politician, apparently, according to numerous sources, I don't know from uh, I don't know from who. I guess there's the there's a there's a committee called the Family, Women, and Children Affairs Committee, and the chairwoman of that committee says, <laughs> says that nothing good will come out of uh, the inappropriate behavior of Russian women. And I think uh, I think they were they were talking about she doesn't want that spokeswoman doesn't want Russian women consorting. Laying down with undesirable races. This is essentially what it comes down to. So there you have it. Good old Russia. Wait, what? Robbie Williams is playing global politics, Eric Jennings? Are you saying that Robbie Williams has an... EJ is saying that he has an in with Putin and played a private concert for some big Putin backers, supposedly. All right, Robbie Williams. Maybe he's maybe he's some sort of spy. He could be double agent. There's Sir, Sergio Ramos, whose questionable move nearly dislocated Mohamed Salah. Well, definitely knocked him out of the Champions League final. Anyway, that goes to Spain. Jason Lana with that one, 68 out of 199. And I'm breezing by these ones because they don't have, they're not numbered, but they will ship. It'll just be. These uh, these comments that won't ship. In case you were wondering at home, I'm sure everyone read the item description though. Could be BS though, says EJ. But still, I mean, it's still an. No matter what though, I feel like it's still an odd choice. There's Luis Suarez, still an odd choice for the opening ceremony, like Robbie Williams. Like, they don't have, like, some big Russian pop star that could that can do it or something like that. Luis Suarez, 136 out of 149. For Uruguay, that goes to EJ. 
Like you would think that you would think that Russia would want to show off. Like it's like, hey, here's like the biggest pop star in Russia. You know, and like let's showcase him. Like I, I at least I would want to see the biggest pop star in Russia. I've already seen Robbie Williams. All right. Autograph is Patrick Vieira for Le Bleu. That goes to Mark Fukada with France. Evan, what's going on? There you go. Oh, by the way, so the previous six boxes we did in the first half of that of this case, we only got one autograph. So there's usually seven per case on average. So each one of these boxes should now have an autograph. That's what we should expect anyway. So we might be in for a in for a nice autograph filled break. Oh, so the, so EJ is saying that that Robbie Williams had a had a Russian opera singer with him. All right, fair enough. That's still odd. <laughs> Let's pair a Russian opera. Let's, let's pair opera with Robbie Williams. There's Messi, nice uh, refractor edition of Messi. Daniel Patera. I don't think we we don't see too many of those. Mike Tower asking, what is Yakov Smirnov doing nowadays? Do they want to stand up at the? Uh, the opening ceremonies? Is that who that is? In, in Mother Russia, jokes laugh at you. There's Chicharito. Uh, David, you just missed Essentials, so Celtics had just that one. Uh, I honestly don't remember, David. I wish I had a photographic memory so I could remember exactly what everyone got in every single break, but I don't have that talent. I wish I did, though. Then I could just tell you. Then I could tell everybody. You, Nobody would even have to watch videos anymore. They'd be like, oh, yeah, Joe. Joe has a photographic memory. But I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember. Sorry, David. I don't think there are any, like, big Celtics hits, though, that I, that I do remember. Yeah, it's strange, right, Eric? I'm perplexed by Rob, the choice of Robbie Williams in the opening ceremonies as well of the World Cup. <laughs> Eric says he was watching it. And he was like, wait, is that Robbie Williams? And you check the internet and lo and behold, it was indeed Robbie Williams. I think Robbie Williams moved back to London not too long ago. He said he wanted to raise his kids in, in London. But he lived in L.A. for a long time and he said it was fantastic. A lot of... Uh, a lot of my friends, uh, not a lot of my friends, but like a couple acquaintances that I knew, bartenders at bars, at like British pubs would be like, yeah, you know, he, he plays pickup soccer all the time at the Santa Monica airport, you know, or in Hollywood or stuff like that. So he was always around. He wouldn't get mobbed. Nobody really knew who he was in LA. So kind of love that anonymity. That's the plan, Nino. And Nino's like, please pull me a hit, Joe. I was like, that's, that's every time anyone is in a break, that's always the plan. It's stipulated. Who do you have again? You got Australia. You got Japan. And I think you got one more, right? Panama. All right. Even a low number parallel could get you spot monies back too, if not more. What's the who? Someone looked this. Who who is the biggest Russian like pop star? There's got to be a Russian band or something like that, or a DJ or someone that they could have showcased. Maybe in the closing ceremonies of the World Cup. Maybe we'll see it then. If it's more Robbie Williams at the end of the World Cup, I'll be very confused. I'll be even more confused than I am now. All right, Ronaldo Tapia for Peru. That go, that's out of one ninety nine. There's a refractor of Mohamed Salah for Egypt. Kip Kip Hooray. They, they say he's healthy, Kip, allegedly. But I don't know. Kind of separated the shoulder. I mean, I don't know if 
You know, and people, I know wise guys are going out there going, yeah, you know, smart asses are like, yeah, but you use your feet in soccer. Yeah, try. I'll separate your shoulder and try running around with a separated shoulder. See how that feels. Um, but I don't know. If he's 100%, I mean, he could he could make magic happen for the Egyptians, but we'll see. There's Irving Lozano for Mexico. Whoa, hey oh, the X line. Biggest Russian pop star is is Trump. I'm pretty sure. Wink face. One sixteen out of one forty nine. Red. That goes to Mexico. Josh Proust with that one. Harry Kane, big part of that England team. And we got an autograph coming up for Colombia. That is Juan Guillermo Cuadrado for Colombia. That goes to Jason Lawner with Colombia. Nice. There you go. A dazzling debut indeed. David Silva down there. There's Christian Eriksen. And Emil Forsberg. Romelo Lukaku. Jamie Vardy, also a big part of that England attack. And fundamentals, I feel like these are kind of short printed. Okazaki for Japan. I don't see a lot of those. That goes to Nino. Boston graphs, you like. I had to roll my R's there, Nino. I, got, I had to get that right. I, I, I'm, I'm aspiring for, for linguistic accuracy, ladies and gentlemen. All right, and there's Cristiano Ronaldo. Mike Tower says the musical choice for the closing ceremony should be Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Ovechkin. No Neil Young, huh? <laughs> Sorry, Neil. We got Ovechkin on guitar. We're going to have him play the hits. Just skate around with the cup. Thanks, X-Line. I'm trying to maintain some sort of authenticity in these World Cup breaks. Linguistic authenticity. Eric Jennings, do you want to have Dolph Lundgren play uh, Ivan Drago again? Try to, try to work Ivan Drago into the closing ceremonies of the World Cup? Drago! Drago! Do you wonder why he – ever think about why he, Rocky did that? Rocky's training his training his butt off. Then he's running up the mountain, right? And like in the snow. I mean running in the snow is pretty tough from what I hear. It's like running in the sand at the beach here in Redondo Beach. And then he gets on top of the mountain and then he yells Drago. Why, why does he why, why would he do that do people do that does Mike T did Mike Tyson run up a hill and then be like holy field holy field I don't have a Mike Tyson voice I don't want to do a Mike Tyson voice I feel like he'll find me what does he say I will crush I will break you is it I will break you or I will crush you or is it I must break you I must break you So Wit says, CPAP Stud says, after his workouts, he yells, he yells Joe. Am I your rival? I feel like you have to yell the name of your rival. I don't know. I'd, I'd be weirded out if I was at the gym. If I was at the gym and some guy just finishes his reps 
and then yells out the name of his rival. What do we got here? I don't think these are very common. Champions. Nice. Spain. España. For Jason Lahner. Is it I must break you? I must break you. I think that's how he says it. He says, I must break you. That's what he says. Spain. That goes to Jason Lahner. Guardado for Mexico. For El Tri. There's Chicharito. That's, that, that's, that movie scared me when I was a kid. That definitely made me afraid of Russians. That was definitely terrifying. Ooh, nice one, X-Line. That should be a Jaspies hashtag. I must break... Oh, man. Why haven't we thought of this before? This is what you get, ladies and gentlemen. We are we are crowdsourcing entertainment content for you. I've been breaking for four years. I've been making Rocky references for four years, but never once thought to use the hashtag I must break you. 136 out of 149. I don't think I've done it. There's Marquinhos for Brazil. That goes to John Gas. I've used like the I've used a gif of Rocky running up the mountain and yelling Drago. But hashtag I must br That's good. I got to find a gif of him too then. If I find a good gif of Ivan Drago on Twitter, right? We'll do that after this break tonight. We'll find a break that we want to break tonight. There's a Bikir Yarnson for Iceland. My Icelandic accent not as good. We don't speak a lot of Icelandic here in Southern California. The X line with that one though. Five out of ten. That card is gold. Gold, I say. I hope that doesn't replace an autograph. We're supposed to have an, another auto, maybe. We've got uh, Gotoku Sakai. Not Japanese either, so I'm not good at that either. 41 out of 65. Oh, there you go. Excellent. Company merger official today after shareholder vote yesterday, plus a few vodka mixers. Isn't that what you get? I get good content like that, Excellent. I like it. Excellent sitting there in his day job thinking, thinking, man, my, uh, my comedic content is wasted here at the company, but at Jaspies, that's where I can shine. Marcus Rashford. Refractor for England. G-State saying, oh, yeah, he thinks no auto in this box because of that gold out of 10. Actually, that gold out of 10 is nice too. Paulinho for Brazil. Gleek. We've got Jose Jimenez. We got Conate, Hector Herrera, and that is that. We got three, so no auto, I'm afraid, but that gold out of 10 probably took care of that. Was sitting in place of the auto, those low numbered parallels. Three box to go halfway through the second half of this break. We have another case. But yeah, like I said, no auto, says the Exxon. We, we have another case, but I have to open it for the two box. Uh, prize. So we're going to be... So how many boxes are there? 12? So there's 10 boxes. So we might have to reconfigure that break. Now nah, we'll figure it out. So keep an eye on jazbeeshobbyland.com for more soccer. I think we're getting some select soccer too. Or did we get select soccer? I don't remember. Anyway. So keep an eye out for more soccer, ladies and gentlemen over the next week, next few weeks while the World Cup is happening. Of course, we should be getting some cases. I don't know how many we're getting, but we should be getting at least a few cases of NT soccer. Not tomorrow, but Friday. Not tomorrow, Friday. Next week, Friday. It's only Thursday?
you know, X-Line, it just hit me that you should have totally given us some insider trading info to completely jeopardize the merger of your companies <laughs> and give us the tips, give us the inside scoop. <laughs> Eric Jennings, to Joe P's delight, there'll be a lot of soccer throughout the, throughout the next few weeks. We'll we'll continue to badger him to get into a break. We'll eventually we'll eventually get him to the point where if if he can't if he can't beat us, he'll just have to join us. Oh, <laughs> was it already jeopardized without you giving away insider information? No, I can't imagine the federal the SEC would be after us. Not not the not the not the conference, but. The scary SEC. All right. Good luck, everybody. Next box. These guys got crushed. Uh, CPAP said, federal prisons no fun. Are you speaking from personal experience, CPAP stud? Speaking from experience, I feel like, I feel like insider trading federal prison can't be that bad. Uh, Jesus Corona from Mexico. Oh, it was a stock for stock deal. Oh, that does sound messy. I don't want to be the guy that does. It. <laughs> I feel like it's hard enough for for us to keep track of how many boxes we sell at Jaspie's Hobbyland X line, let alone two big <laughs> two big firms in a stock stock deal. Forget that. All right, let's see. Come on, autograph. Sergio Guero for Daniel Patera in Argentina. Nice. One sixty one out of one ninety nine. Chesney for Poland. Casimero. There's the autograph right there. And the the autografia is for Costa Rica, for Brian Ruiz. That goes to EJ. There you, hey, weren't you looking for this, Eric? I think EJ was looking for this guy specifically. Ask nicely and ye shall receive. Doesn't work all the time, but... helps all right fs1 FS1 suggesting that Mohamed Salah will play for... Oh, but he might not start this game. I gotcha. That's all it takes, Arthur. Asking nicely, though. Gotta ask nicely. Alright, good luck, everybody. Two more boxes to go. What are we doing after this? NT? No, we got we got a personal box of uh, Ultimate Collection after this. And then we've got NT Baseball right after that. And that should bring us to a little bit after 9 o'clock Pacific. Arthur, you got, you got hits two nights in a row, I think, at a finest. See, you got hits. You got Anthony Bandas. Ah, G State. Mark wants uh, Thierry Henry. Is Thierry Henry in this set? All right, Nino's gonna try too. Oh man! Now everyone's like, Nino's saying, "Hey, let me try." Joe, can you please pull me an auto? I'll try, everybody. Hey, we've got what? 
two boxes to go. We can do this. Oh, Pruce wants a triple auto. Triple auto for Mexico. A triple auto for El Tree. X-Line wants some guy's auto that he doesn't even know. He just wants some kind of ink. Might as well, Josh Pruce. L3 for L3. All right, a couple packs here, one more box, and then a couple more breaks, and then after that, I'm not sure what's going to happen after that. We'll be down to our last, just under our last two hours of the broadcast. By the time we have all said and done, I see a few orders coming in, so we'll see what that's going to be for. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Angel Di Maria. There's Javier Mascherano for Argentina. Former Liverpool man that goes to Daniel Patera, 40 out of 99. Should be another autograph in here. Erickson. Thomas Vermarlin. Mbappe, New Era. I feel like that is, we don't see those, the refractor version of those too often. We do not see those too often. That goes to Mark in France, Le Bleu. We'll save Mohamed Salah for Egypt, just because I'm a Liverpool guy. There's Cook. For Spain, or Coke, I think, for Spain, or Coke. Like the beverage. 48 out of 199 for España. Mohamed Salah goes to Kip. Is this numbered? No, that's just a regular Mojo refractor. Leroy Sané, and the autograph is, it's Shinji Kagawa, nice, there you go, I guess I, I guess it did work, Nino, Shinji Kagawa, former uh, Manchester United guy, he had some nice years in Manchester, there you go, that is for Nino. Hey, you are welcome, Nino. Maybe that does work, folks. All right, last box coming up. Um, I think there may have been some inserts, but nothing significant yet on Belgium, Darji. Speaking of Belgium and like like Belgian waffles and whatnot, is IHOB, now that they changed it, which is ridiculous, is IHOB still going to sell breakfast? Or is it just all burgers? Have they abandoned breakfast then? Wait, I'm sorry. Wait. Yes, yes, they did abandon breakfast, or yes, they'll still sell serve pancakes. I should have waited for answers. Still a chance for Gareth Bale, EA. Okay, so they still sell 
Okay, they sell soft hamburgers. Now, are they going to have different styles of burgers? Are they going to, can I get an, like, for example, can I get an Australian burger? Has it, have any of you guys had an Australian burger? Those are interesting. Um, so will they have international burgers? Like I'll get like a Kobe beef burger from Japan. You know, I'll get a, you know, I'll get an Australian burger right here. Um, you know, and a good old fashioned American burger. You know, I kind of want all of that. Yeah, I'll, I've not had one made out of kangaroo. I've had just with, with just regular, one one hundred percent USDA grade A ground beef with like the pineapple and the onion and the rat the radish. What's the red thing in there? <laughs> They put some interesting things in there. But yeah, no, I agree, Darji. Like, no one's going to go to IHOP for a burger. There's no reason to change the name. Just say we're IHOP, hop, and still selling burgers. Like we just added burgers to the menu. That could have been fine. Unless it's just a big – they're just trying to troll or just trying to get attention. You know? Michael Hobzek, think we break luminosity tonight. Uh, oh, you mean luminance? Yes. But you can't ask me, though, because I'll say everything we'll be able to break tonight. There's Joe Matinho for Portugal. That goes to Daniel Patera. That is our last autograph, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Wait, do they really eat, do they eat kangaroo out there? Is that, is that a delicacy out there? Wait, Eric Jennings, you've never had a burger with an egg on top? Oh, man. I'm telling you, like, yeah, next time you make yourself a burger, pop a fried egg on top of that baby. It's pretty delicious. It, it, that's a hearty meal right there. We got a fundamentals refractor, Behrami for Switzerland. Man, they're that's pretty good. You know, um, a, a good chain that has a good egg burger is Red Robin. So if you have a Red Robin near you, they can make you one too. Akinfiv for Russia. That goes to Daniel. Oh man, Eric Goh just went nuts on his burger. He had one last night with hash browns and ba the hash browns. That's a good touch. Oh, do they serve? I didn't know they served one at Denny's. Is that better? That's what that's what that's what Arthur says. And now I'm now I'm getting hungry. The yolk has. Yeah, I think the, I think the the yolk's got to be got to be a little runny. That's for sure. All right, let's see if we have any, we have any la some low numbered parallels before we close this break out. Oh, Applebee's got one too. Also, oh, everyone's on the on the egg train. We 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 got Fat Burger out here. Fat Burger pops an egg on the burger as well. Pretty delicious. All right, and we've got Marco Urania for Costa Rica. That goes to Eric Jennings. There you go, EJ, 101 out of 149, Costa Rica to close things out. And there you have it, boys and girls. Uh, that was the second half of 2018 Panini Prism World Cup Soccer. We should have some more in the store on jazbeeshobbyland.com, so keep checking out for more soccer throughout the World Cup. You're home for the World Cup and World Cup talk and World Cup breaks. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.